This video is on the new Bronze series of speakers from Monitor Audio. I will go over the technology they all share, then we'll get into the differences between some of the different models. Now, Monitor Audio was founded in 1972 outside of Cambridge in the UK. For almost five decades, they have been winning awards for their value-oriented products that capture the ears of music lovers with their lively and fun to listen to sound. Now, with the introduction of these new models, the Bronze series enters into its sixth revision over its 20-year span. The new models not only sound better, but they look way better, and they're far more polished and contemporary than you would expect for their price range. Now, let's dive right in and go over all the tech these models share. Monitor Audio developed their Seacam Gold Dome tweeter many years ago. They take an aluminum magnesium alloy dome and coat it with a ceramic material. It also has their distinctive gold color added for a cool look. This special coating causes the breakup frequency of the tweeter to be pushed out well beyond the range of human hearing. Now with the new bronze models, they have upgraded the waveguide. They call it their uniform dispersion waveguide. This new tech combined with their Seacam tweeter has some great advantages. First, you get less of a drop off in high frequency response as you move off axis, which widens the sweet spot, giving you a big image for more than one listener. Now the way the waveguide is designed, it pushes the tweeter further back into the cabinet, which has a side benefit of improving time alignment as its voice coil is closer to the mid-range woofer voice coil. In our testing of the Bronze 100 and 200, we found it to have a huge soundstage where the speakers totally disappeared, which proves the point Monitor Audio makes about this tweeter design. Just like the tweeter, Seacam Tech is extended to the mid-range bass drivers. Seacam was originally developed for the aerospace industry. It has a great resistance to bending stress. Monitor Audio also improved the shape of the driver to reduce cone breakup. This reduced both coloration and distortion. And the driver itself just looks super cool, which is one of the reasons I think they look best with the grills off. Now, one thing to point out is many speakers in this class are made of thin material with little internal bracing, but the Bronze series has some serious cabinets. The front baffle is almost one inch thick, which gives the drivers a very solid surface. The rest of the cabinet is over one and a half inches thick with lots of internal bracing for added rigidity. Monitor, like many speaker companies, has spent a lot of time developing a port that reduces noise. A port is basically a hole in a speaker that helps improve bass response. But when done wrong, it can add noise. Monitor calls their port Hive 2. The smooth airflow they get from this improves the transient response of the bass drivers and gives them tighter bass. Another thing that really impresses us is how Monitor bolts the drivers to the rear of the cabinet. We have seen this on far more expensive models, but never in this price range. If you look on the rear of their speakers, you'll see one or more round black bolts. This connects the mid bass driver with the rod to the rear of the speaker. The tweeter housing also gets the same type of treatment. For the woofers, this reduces energy that might be transmitted to the walls of the cabinet, thus greatly reducing resonance and gives the tweeter a more solid mount. Pretty neat. Now when you see the cabinets in person, you'll observe that the finish is fantastic. A speaker's crossover is always hidden inside the speaker, and this is where we see some companies skimping and cutting costs since you never see it. The purpose of a crossover is to send the various frequencies to the right drivers. When you look at the quality of component parts Monitor uses though, it's like what you would see inside of a high-end amplifier. Here, they use polyester film and electrolytic capacitors with air core and low loss laminated steel core inductors. Now at AudioVice, we have promoted bi-wiring for decades. It costs more to add it to a speaker, but it does improve performance if you use bi-wire cables. To learn more about bi-wiring, go check out our article on bi-wiring in the link below. Even the entry-level Bronze 50 is set up to be bi-wired, which is just great. We do have to say though, we wish they had used a little bit deeper binding posts. These are not as deep as we typically see and a banana plug does not go in very far. But on the positive side, other companies really could learn from how Monitor inserts the banana plug covers. 
The EU makes all speaker companies put little plugs in the banana holes to prevent people from confusing them with an AC outlet. You see, most plugs are pretty hard to get out. And yes, you may only have to do it once, but Bonner puts posts on the plugs, which makes it super easy to get them out with a regular pair of pliers. A nice touch. Now, with all of the tweeters being the same and the mid bass drivers all having the same tech, the series is great for home theater systems. You'll get seamless transitions from speaker to speaker with a big sound field. And for more on how to design your own home theater, go check out our free home theater design tool in the link below. All right, next, while this is not really technology, I still have to call out how well these speakers are made. The fit and finishes on these contemporary looking speakers are far higher than you would normally expect for an entry level range of very reasonably priced speakers. All of the main speakers in the bronze series come in a choice of four finishes, white and urban gray, both come with a painted white front baffle, while the walnut and the black have a black painted front baffle. Each color comes with a coordinating grill that attaches with hidden magnets. With their unique tweeter waveguide and gorgeous C-cam bass drivers, I feel like the speakers look far better with the grills off. And with their cool looking perforated waveguide, you can leave the grills off and never have to worry about small fingers pushing in your tweeters. These are completely protected. The new Bronze series consists of two bookshelf speakers, two floor standers, a center channel, subwoofer, surround speakers, and a pair of Atmos Elevation speakers. Monitor Audio also has in-ceiling and in-wall speakers that you can use for architectural applications in a home theater system. And these also use their special tweeter design, so they match up great. Now the Bronze 50 and the 100 are the two bookshelf models with the bigger differences simply being cabinet and mid bass driver size. They share identical tweeters like all of the models with a 5.5 inch woofer in the 50 and an 8 inch woofer in the 100. Both have a rear mounted port. Now the 50 does well in a small room or as surround channels but I feel if you can step up to the 100 you can get a lot more bottom end weight which always adds to the enjoyment of the music. As a matter of fact in our listening to the 100 they really surprised us at how much bass they produce for their modest size. Now the bronze 200 and the 500 are the towers with similar differences. You get the dual 5.5 inch mid bass drivers in the 200 and the dual 8 inch ones in the 500. The bronze 200 turned out to be our favorite speaker in the lineup. The 200 and 500 each come with a very clever out trigger system. Each speaker has four pieces that bolt to the bottom of the cabinet using a large and small bolt so they align perfectly. They come with a sharp spike for carpet and some blunt rubber tips for hard surfaces. These also screw in and out to level things up with the large round piece on top to tighten them down. It is one of the easiest leveling systems for spikes I've seen and I highly recommend you use these especially with the 200 and its super small footprint. These add a lot of stability and will improve the performance. Now the matching center channel uses dual 5.5 inch mid bass drivers. It has great dialogue clarity with the combination of these two with the C-cam tweeter. To round out your surround sound system, there is a wall-mounted surround speaker with one 5.5 inch driver coupled to two tweeters and an Atmos elevation speaker that you can put on top of any of the speakers to bounce the Atmos channel off of the ceiling. These have a 4 inch C-cam mid bass driver. The tweeter has a different waveguide here to give you more control directivity which is perfect for this use case. Now whether the sound of a speaker improves as they break in compared to new out of the box is a somewhat debatable subject. Now if anyone doubts it makes a difference, I challenge you to get a pair of bronze speakers, listen to them brand new and then play them for about 100 hours. We tested the bronze 100 and the bronze 200 extensively. The 100 was the first pair we connected up and they just sounded very thin and lacking in bass. I think it was just something to do with the C-cam mid bass drivers. Now, we put them in a room on a Sonos amp with Spotify on repeat and let them run for a few days. And after this, they were a different pair of speakers. Now, we questioned Monitor Audio on this, big change. And they confirm they do actually recommend up to 200 hours of break-in with the most noticeable results coming in the first 125 hours. 
Now for our testing, we use a small name integrated amp coupled with the Cambridge Audio CXN2 streamer using transparent plus level interconnects and bi-wire speaker cables. We put these on speaker cans that were about 24 inches tall and positioned them about 14 inches off the back wall. At first we tow them in with the speaker aimed directly at our ears. And then we tried less towing with them aimed to about two feet behind our head. When we set it up this way, the image was just terrific. It extended way outside the speakers with center mix vocals right in the middle and out front. And the speakers just completely disappeared. And these have to be one of the best imaging speakers in this price range. Deep bass response was equally as impressive as the imaging. Monitor claims their in-room response is only 6 dB down at 37 Hz, which at first seemed like they were stretching it a bit, but after hearing them, that seems to be accurate. They reach low and are quite punchy. If you like electronic music, you will love the punch you get from these. Now there is a caveat to this deep bass though. We felt like the mid-range was not as full as it could be, and I suspect this is likely due to having to run the tweeter lower. And let's face it, an 8-inch driver is not exactly known for being the best size for mid-range. This gives them a sound that has more emphasis on the extremes than in the middle. But don't get me wrong, they were never bright, or edgy as the Seacam tweeter is super smooth and open. They just did not give us the richness and voices and middle frequency instruments compared to some other speakers. Now, many people actually prefer this type of presentation as it is a lot of fun to listen to. And we cannot forget the fact that these are fairly inexpensive speakers and they do provide incredible imaging and bass impact for their cost. Now the Bronze 200s use dual 5.5 inch mid bass drivers compared to the single 8 inch in the Bronze 100 and are very skinny tower speakers. They actually take up much less of a footprint in your room than a pair of Bronze 100s on a stand and they blend it into our room really well. We tried the same toe-in positions with these as the Bronze 100 and came to the same conclusion, towing them in just a little, but just don't aim them right at you. These sounded much better, a bit closer to the back wall at about 12 inches, which is a bonus for fitting them into a room. Now the caveats we had about the Bronze 100 were obliterated with the Bronze 200. The bass on these reach a little deeper, but this is much more tuneful with improved definition. They are also slightly more sensitive, which gave us better dynamics as well. The imaging is equally as good, if maybe not even better, due to the smaller cabinet face, but the real change to our ears was how these get the mid-range just right. These had the presentation we have known to love from most British speakers. Another area we noticed improvements on was the sense of timing. Some listeners ignore this and pay more attention to the individual instruments and the soundstage presentation. But there is an argument that a great speaker should also make you want to get up and move when they play a fun rhythmic track. And the Bronze 200 had better timing to our ears than the Bronze 100. Now while these are double the price of the Bronze 100, like all the Bronze speakers, they are still a great value and were our favorite out of the ones we tested. They had that open, airy top end we loved on the Bronze 100, but these add a more refinement to the bottom end with the other improvements we mentioned. For someone just getting into a decent pair of speakers, the Bronze 100 will be a lot of fun to listen to and give you punchy bass and an extended open top end like you may have never experienced before. The Bronze 200 is more for the listener who wants even better sound, plus the look of this small tower is fantastic. I should point out, you still want to use a decent amp to drive these with. You don't need something super powerful, but it should have good current capability. There are plenty of good choices out there from Cambridge, Riga, NAD, and more. We actually have a great article on our top amps under $1,000, most of which will pair very well with either model. All right. Hopefully you've enjoyed our brief overview of the Bronze series from Monitor Audio. If you have any questions at all, just give us a call, chat with us on audioadvice.com, or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and also go check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. And we'll see you next time.